In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving long division of polynomials with the Casio scientific calculator in second so multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, I guarantee you that you will be able to solve problems involving long division of polynomials with the Casio FS CG50 calculator in second for multiple choice questions. So, ensure you stay with me to the very end of this video. We are going to learn a lot, guys. Okay, having known that, let's get the Casio calculator and get into the details of this video all right so this is Casio fscg 50 calculator now the very first thing you have to do will be to reset the calculator the sense of thing this is to wipe out whatever previous value you might have stored on the calculator so to quickly reset it or clear it all you have to do is to navigate to system using this navigation box when you get a press with the clips all right it's a clip for this calculator stands for equal to then when you get a press F5 for reset, then press F6 for next page, and lastly press F2 to initialize or 1 to initialize or you press F1 for it, and it will begin to initialize for as indicated here. Okay, so it's initializing all. So we have these questions now division of polynomials. We we'll deal with the Casio calculator is done, presses it. Okay, now the question says find the remainder upon division of the following polynomials all right now to find the remainder of these various polynomials we have here beginning with question one the idea is to this divisor that is dividing this dividend we have here divisor here is s minus four you equate it to zero okay so this will be x minus four equals was zero all right now to make x the solid formula here, this for a color equality sign, I'm going to have x equals was 4. Now, this value of x we have, which is 4, we're going to store it on the calculator. To do that, under this one matrix, press the grids. Okay, so we want to store 4 as x, press 4, press is the grids. Then to store it, press this arrow button, then press alpha and this plus button, that where x is. Once you depress the grids, and it will indicate that 4 has been stored as x on this calculator so let's delete everything now to find the remainder all you have to do will be to impute this polynomial exactly as we have it here so it's going to be 2x square alpha x okay square minus 7 x alpha x okay we have minus 4 and that's all let's press is a good now to get our result or value zero that means the remainder of this polynomial is what zero there are some other guys so let's delete everything here and solve question two so question two says we are giving this polynomial all right we are dividing it with this value so this is the device so s square minus four as usual you equate this device so s square minus four equals zero all right, so this 4 we call the equality, so I'm going to have x squared equals 4. Now, to make x the solid formula, you find the square root of both sides. All right, so you square both sides. This square, we count the square root, and the square root of 4 will give us what? Plus or minus 2. All right, so we, we go with the positive value, which is 2. All right, now we are going to store two as x on this calculator. All right, so to do that, you reset it to remove the previous value we stored. So we go to menu, right? Go to system. Very important, guys, to avoid unnecessary error. Then press F5 for it, F6, F2 f1 all right so it begins to be six so once it's done we're going to store this value two as x on the calculator and use it to solve for the remainder of one division of this polynomial is done press this button okay so right now we're going to start two on this calculator and find the remainder of one division of the polynomial okay then press another one make replace the goods then press two is it puts now press our button alpha 
x it is equal to y is done. Now let's delete everything here. Okay, so let's impute the polynomial. We have it to be two x alpha x cube. Make use of this power function. Okay, it's as simple as that, guys. Then we have minus x square alpha x square then minus 8x alpha x and plus 4 and that's all for this question let's put the good and get our results of value 0 the remainder is still was 0 for question 2 it has something like that guys so there's something interesting for this video if you are new to the channel show you the subscribe button for more videos like this also like share and comment on this video tell me how you feel from what i have learned from this class if you seem to have any specific questions ask feel free to be a question in the comment section below and i'll be sure to give you a response thanks for watching i will see you in my subsequent video